afternoon and if it's afternoon where you are and today we're going to respond to a question from one of our clients who'd read our article and hadn't quite got it clear on how to book a Padron appointment in the at the Mika's Town Hall. Now we've got a very good article on our website, it's been there for a couple of years but I'm going to add this video to the article and give you all the relevant links so you can actually see this is a walkthrough of how to book your appointment if you need to register for the first time or you're getting a duplicate Padron certificate in La Cala de Mijas, Las Lagunas or Mijas Pueblo. Remember there's three places that you could do this in, uh, in Mijas. So first of all we're going to come here to this part of the website. I'm going to give you the direct link below to this page, the links below. Okay, so once you click on the link, they only get one thing to select, which is Ayuntamiento. We know Ayuntamiento means town hall in Spanish. Now, this here, despliegue para ver trámites disponible en este ámbito. This means, what would you like to do when you go to the town hall? So we're going to go down and we want to go, and I love this word. If I've been in Spain 23 years and this word's still a struggle. Atención a la ciudadanía. Okay, Ciudadanía is Citizens Advice Bureau. If you can say that and you're learning Spanish, you're doing very, very well. So click on that and have that in part of your learning Spanish course, I can tell you, to get your tongue around that. Ciudadanía. Blimey. Enter. When you enter there, you'll see we're interested in this thing here, Padrón Municipal. This just gives you a list of the town halls and some general information about going to the town hall. Go to enter, entra, very easy. Entra means enter in Spanish. There we go. And you've got options here to either use your NIE number or use your DNE or your passport number. So we're gonna use passport number, for example. There we go. And don't try and uh, copy that because it's not a real one. So we're going to go here to put your name in. The bottom here it says Nombre de apellido, Apellidos is Chris Dureka. Nombre y Apellidos. Name and surname. Put your name and surname in. Go like that. Click enter. And now you've got four options. You can either go to request an appointment. Check the appointments that you've actually got uh, um, booked. Annul your appointment or leave. We don't want any of those. We want requested appointment. Now you can see we've got the three different town halls that you can go to in Mijas. Generally, Mijas Pueblo has great availability. La Cala, I've just checked, actually doesn't have too much of a problem getting appointments. And Las Lagunas either, they're pretty on, 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 on the spot with appointments. So you can get them in all three at the moment. It just depends what time of year it is, and we have had problems in the colour before, but at the moment there's appointments readily available. So we'll go to Mijas, and we're going to go next. Here we have to put our, uh, number, our phone number in, so it's, it's, there we go, that's our phone number, and then we're going to put our email address in, and we're going to press next. There we go, and we can see we can even get an appointment tomorrow, if you want, so look at that. Tomorrow, there's only two appointments gone tomorrow. Let's see how many appointments are available. So let's go to 10.35 tomorrow. Let's accept it. And let's go click in the box, click in the box. This means here that you are um, in agreement with the information which is on this form here. So tomorrow at 10.35, uh, the 11th of the 4th, 2023. And here's the address that you need to go to go and get your Padron. Confirm. There we go. So we've got our confirmation there. Okay, I should have said actually there's also a GDPR tick box. Just tick both boxes because you have to, but you can't get an appointment. Um, and you have got a confirmation here also um, number, which you can go to use to go in to change your appointment if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So what we're going to do is just write that number down here on a piece of paper. Here we go next to you, next to me, not next to you, A8XM, there we go, making sure I can read my own writing, come down here, and if you really want to, you can either save this as a PDF, or print it out in your printer, okay, so, we're going to go back, 
There we go. I've got our appointment. You'll get email confirmation of the appointment. And below I've put uh, an article relating to this video and an article which relates on how to get a Padron certificate, the documents you need to take. So say we want to go in and we want to um, cancel our appointment. Go back in. Let's see this advice. There we go. Enter. And we have to put in the passport number that I used and now I can't remember. Haha, there we go. So evidently, good thing about it is very good. I got an email confirming the appointment. And it tells me on there what the passport number was I used. There we go. So I can confirm that the email came through. And I used the passport number 7411. My name, Chris Goodacre. There we go, consultar citas confirmadas. Let's have a look, let's consult the, con the appointments I've got. There we go, now they're gonna send me, ah, here we go, to check. Now we need that number that I told you before, the justificante number, which I've just written down, that I highlighted previously in the video. There we go, and you can ask. And there you go, it's telling me that's the appointment that I've got booked. So we can go back, now we can go to anular. Anular means cancel appointment. So again, we're gonna put the same number in. It okay, comes up automatically. And consult that. And now, if I click this box, giving authorization, doy mi autorización para la cancelación de este cita, hit a no. And there we go, it's been annulled. Means I can go back in the system and I can book another one if I want. And to come back out, go to the beginning, you press Sally. So there we go guys, that's how you book an appointment at the Ayuntamiento de Mijas if you want a Padron certificate for the first time if you're registering or if you are just getting a duplicate, you need it maybe to register your vehicle or to register with social security or something like that, then you can jump on the website. It works just as well on a mobile. And uh, yeah, we're good.